This Space Engineers carrier design sort of takes me back to the original days of Space Engineers. If you've been around the channel for quite a long time, you remember the Langley carrier I used to play with in series like Planet Wars and Survival. My, that is a blast from the past. So when I saw the Akita Exploration Carrier on the Steam Workshop, I just had to come take a look at this. <sighs> Greetings everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. It's been quite a while since we've dived into the game and took a look at somebody else's Steam Workshop creation, but it's not a mod for a change. Here we have a pretty awesome thing and this is the Exploration Carrier. It's very, very cool and it does what it says on the tin. However, it's kind of a small scale carrier. As you can see from some of the panning cinematic shots right now, it's heavily armed, but you couldn't dock too many things on it. There's only room for maybe a couple of fighters and they've got to be particularly small fighters. Still, if you're looking for a good sort of carrier survival craft using a PvP multiplayer server or something fun to play with in game, I would recommend this craft. Essentially, it's designed to carry lots of long ships, or small ships, should I say, uh, in long distance exploration. So you can fly on a planet side, have an explore. It is a hydrogen cruiser, or hydrogen carrier, should I say. So therefore, you don't need to worry too much about atmospheric engines, which is pretty cool. Okay, if we snap into game right now, we can take a look. So first of all, I'm going to highlight how much hydrogen is on board here. So we're using three main hydrogen thrusters. I don't know why I said about hydrogen. Three main hydrogen thrusters, which are pretty cool. Now, there's a couple of small ones dotted around as well for sort of like sided thrusts and things like that. And I do believe we've got two back here. There we go. And the big gates, which we'll take a look at in a minute, the hangar doors there, because there is another hangar section on board. There's even some landing gears using the landing pads. I am so glad Keen finally added these to the game a while back. They look awesome. Connection on the bottom here as well. Very, very nice. I've also got interior turrets. The thing is very heavily armed. For an exploration carrier, this thing's got quite a few guns on it. We've got artillery cannons here. We've even got these ones here. We have a cannons as well. More artillery fire. Um, it, it's quite it's quite berserk, isn't it? Like, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, it works. There is a lot of things, but still. One aspect of the ship I particularly like is the sort of open planning that's going on here. Because you can see right now, if I move in the camera in here, and we'll take a look at the interior in just a second, is you've got crew areas that just open to sort of like the area of space. Obviously not really space, but open air, I guess, because this isn't going into space. This is a Atmo carrier. But technically, I guess it could go into space. Um, you could maneuver it around there. You'd probably just seal off certain sections to ensure it, uh, <laughs> it stays pressurized. Because it's got hydrogen engines. I'm not sure if you'd be able to break into orbit with this, but it's certainly something to... Uh, consider i guess but i'm in my character mode now let's take a look around unfortunately i don't have any of the fighters to sort of dock here and show you guys but easily i can see some small interceptors docking on here you'd be hard fit to maybe fit a transport on here i might be able to fit one of my valkyrie craft then again take weight into consideration there's only three large hydrogen thrusters keeping a ship up you don't want too many heavy fighters so we've got a ton of artillery cannons on here i personally would remove some of them on here maybe this one here to have a bit more space for example um but you know it's here it does the job if we go look at a bridge let's go down in the front section in the bow as you're making brand new use of these blocks here sort of bring things out the spotlights here are a really good idea because that way you can sort of eye up your landing area and see where the ship is going i particularly like that idea good lot of maintenance access as well because if you're taking damage or piloting this craft you can easily come and weld this up it's a bit of gameplay with space engineers i really really like there's sort of this section that goes down here, and there's another one on that side as well. This is if you want to get off the ship, because of the landing pad's right there. Pretty cool, but I can imagine these stairs maybe or might get broken. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, that's just back up to the flight deck. If we go in here again, we've got this open area of space. I would have maybe put a, like, couple more railings here. But I guess with the connectors, it's so you can dock more fighters, or, you know, do something for some down there. Easy extra gyroscopes. One thing I like with the Kida Exploration Carrier is enough access to all your major systems. So if you do need to come and repair them in sort of survival gameplay, you can easily get to them. There's nothing worse than having stuff sealed behind doors if you're building a ship in Tenet for Survival. Right, down here we've got the main hangar area. Using the landing pads again, these are pretty, pretty cool. It's, as you know, it's basically a landing area. What more do you want, you know? I think if we press big one. Oh, I already opened it. I didn't hear the door there. This is so quiet all of a sudden. So we could dock a variety of small craft in here, I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure what you dock. Maybe a mining craft, something like that. You can definitely find some ships that would fit to work with this carrier. That is only one concern, is a lot of the doors are quite small, particularly this rear one, for docking certain types of ships. But you, you can find something to fit in there. Right, if we go up this way. I really hate these airlock doors sometimes. It's so confusing. 
I believe, yep, this is what I thought it would be. It's medical bay and cryo storage over here. Air vents as well. Very nice, very nice. Quick cargo access as well. It's another thing on this ship is you've got plenty of access to the cargo systems, which is really, really nice. As we start heading through here, we're going to find more of the crew areas. We've got sort of an overlook area down here. Space suits, bathrooms again. And I really wish Keen would add something so these blocks would be a bit more usable or with a reason to use them. Because so you can sort stuff locally in here for RP purposes. But if it's not piped up, what's the point? Like, I would love it if they could pipe those blocks up with a bit of a quality of life thing. Right, we need to get up to the bridge now, so we need to go find a way to the staircase. Unfortunately, it seems like the only way up to the main deck is at the front, so you can't climb through the back, which is a bit annoying. Unless there's a way here that I just walked by, I think there might be. Did I miss a section? I did miss a section. Right, I'll stand correct. If there is a section here, I must have completely walked. Yeah, I literally should completely walk past it. Okay, cool. Uh, we can go up here then. There you go. More crew areas around here. I'm guessing it's leading to the back area. Yeah, we'll go this way in a second, because did I miss something around here? I did. Was no, okay, it's the same door then. Enough diagnostic redirects going here. So your interior does have a good amount of playability as well. Hidden beacon back here, probably for distress calls. And there's a jump drive here as well. So this thing definitely can go to space. And now we're stood on it. I really wish you'd sink into it like when standing on it. It would make the gameplay a bit more interesting. A giant interior turn here, so you definitely will get bored at any time soon. But here, we can take control like this. Boom. We are now in control of the Kida Carrier, and it is pretty cool. See, it's even got Kida written on the side there. Very nice. And to be fair, it is rather nippy and handles rather well. Like, let's take it for a cruise and see what we can do. Like, I'm flying in a cannon at the minute. Easy, we're building up to 100 meters per second. How are we going to slow down? So, heading straight down there. Slows down all right at the speed. Because we can just pull straight up like this, and we can use our downward thrusters to sort of slow the ship down. And the front thrusters as well. Still, for a carrier, this thing handles particularly well. If you're going to use this in sort of survival or any form of gameplay with Space Engineers, I'm going to try and not crash into the side of a mountain now, you are going to want to make sure your ships are definitely locked to the surface of the landing deck. Because you can imagine what I'm doing right now, your fighters would literally just slide off, which would be rather embarrassing, so uh, keep that in mind. Good amount of visibility from a bridge as well, but I do wonder if the visibility might be sort of like blocked when we do a fighter craft docked on the main bay there. Just something to keep in mind, I think. So this is a pretty cool ship. Should you download and play with it? I think you should. If you're looking for a small exploration carry inside of Space Engineers, this has been the key to exploration carry. It is available on the Steam Workshop. Do go take a look. Use a couple of scripts and there's a couple of blueprints used as well. Blueprints, there we go. Do go and check it out. For now, I've been Captain Jack on the Space Engineers today. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.